What is up everybody? This is Michael Filesage checking in here today. And today I'm just doing an old school video. I'm not even gonna edit it. Hopefully I could just do it in one take. Um, Patreon, affiliates, and all the ways you can support me is in the description. Okay, so let's get into this video. So I'm actually going away for uh, four, four days and three nights starting today. And so, you know, I'm really excited guys. I'm gonna go on a little break. Um, and recently, I told you guys before that I'm going back to Spore on a lot of things. So I've gone back to Spore, they've colonized the jars, and now they've been spawned to bulk, and some of them are starting to fruit. So I wanted to show you the most notable thing that's uh, going on in terms of that. And that is the Florida Grass Lover Tubs. So this video is going to be a little Florida Grass Lover update for you guys. Uh, it's been a while since I've really... Uh, you know, featured these guys front and center. And, you know, in the past I was having problems um, ever since I came back from the summer. Like before the summer, I didn't have any issues with them. But ever since I came back from the summer, it was just um, very, very unpredictable. And uh, so the thing is, I was using cultures from before the summer that have been stored over the summer inside terrible conditions inside a suitcase. You know, I left a bunch of stuff when my landlord came in uh, like a week or so ago, like two weeks ago, I guess. Um, for, for less than 24 hours inside a suitcase and all of them, well, not all of them, but like a lot of them ended up getting some weird, weird contaminations. C yes, that's plural, contaminations, right? So I think it's just that anaerobic environment, um, especially over the, the space of span of two and a half months, the summer and, and the heat and everything like that. It's actually quite incredible that I was able to, that, that those cultures survived basically and were able to produce fruits and and truffles for many months afterwards like half a year afterwards so anyways those guys are, are uh have deserved have gotten a well-deserved break and now we're going back multi-spore and uh these guys are looking very promising so you guys are like oh get to the help of the flip the lid okay yeah okay so here we are so here's one of the um here's one of the uh, the tubs as you can see i want to show you guys this because look at all the little dots there that is Primordia and Hyphal Knots. And you know, look at that. We got a bunch of little guys coming in. And the reason I'm showing you guys this on this channel right now, even though it's fruiting content, is because they're so small still and so uh, primordial, let's say, that it's not too mushroomy. So this is why I'm showing you guys. And also as a sneak preview of what's going to come on the Patreon once I get back four days later. Uh, so I'm really, really looking forward to seeing how these guys progress. I mean, look at that. Like, the quality is not too good, but you guys get the sense, right? Like, there's a bunch of clusters there all over. There is, there's hyphal knots and primordia all over the place. The, there was lots of hyphal knots yesterday, but the primordia, um, really started to bloom today. So, you know, yesterday when I saw all the hyphal knots, I was sort of, you know, um, kind of worried. Well, not worried, but I was kind of, uh, hesitant to say, oh, we're going to have a great pin set or anything like that, because I've had times where you get a bunch of Eiffel knots and nothing really comes up but this time it seems like they are coming strong and again I will repeat this is the multi-spore plate so let's take a look at the other tub and as you can see I'm flipping the tub, tub as well uh flipping the lid I don't do this for core lovers and shoe boxes because they don't really necessitate the extra FAE usually uh but with these species they need extra FAE otherwise the caps will not open up properly so here's the other one and I know a lot of you guys have been asking me for prints and genetics of Florida grass lovers. Well, guys, it seems like they will be coming soon. Some really nice clusters coming in, guys. Wow. Beautiful. So I'm really, really excited, and I hope you guys are too. I made a State of, State of the Grow video as well for this month. Um, and it's posted on Patreon. It's Patreon exclusive only uh, because I want to edit it and stuff before I release it on this channel. But to be honest, I don't... I don't think it's all that interesting, honestly. So I might not even be releasing it just because like the quality is just, I don't think up to, up to snuff. But uh, yeah, guys, I miss being able to show like a bunch of like everything on, on my YouTube channel like I used to, honestly, you know? And uh, yeah, this is a lot of fun. So yeah, you guys can see a lot of, a lot of uh, different uh, clusters, right? I mean, wow. So anyways, the update will be on Patreon. So four days, that's a long time for these guys to, you know, grow. 
uh, and it's something that I'm really looking forward to seeing how the tubs look when I get back. I don't think I can wait, you know. Um, I'm super excited about these guys, so. Yeah, and also I had um, the tub BVI, as I like to call it, the really nice fruiting uh, culture that I found um, of TTBVI and Okies. And uh, basically, I don't know why, but uh, re recent runs have get, been getting like dirty spawn for whatever reason. Um, and I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. So here it is, one of the ones that I actually shook three times now. Three times because I shook it twice. It seems to be going all well, but then there'd be like a little spot that, uh, little spots I should say that didn't colonize. It wasn't like wet rotty or anything. And oftentimes with uh, pool lover cultures, pool lover grades, they can look wet, wetter than uh, core lovers I find. But uh, with these guys, I, I was like, that's weird. You know, it's like 95% colonized. It's just not fully colonized yet. Um, for two days afterwards, it just stalled. So firstly, I noticed that the lid was actually screwed on tight, which I sometimes, because whenever I shake up a um, an unmodified lid like this, I like to screw it on, shake it, and then unscrew it. So I probably didn't unscrew it. So I thought, okay, so there's, it's just, uh, there's just not enough uh, gas exchange going on there. So they've kind of stalled, um, suffocated in there. Um, and so I, I did it, I, I unscrewed it a little bit, but uh, I think it needed a good shake because after a day, it, I didn't see much progress. So I uh, shook it up and this is the result around, I guess, two or three days later now. And as you can see, you can see some wet grains, um, but the mycelium is actually starting to recover a little bit more, which is good because before it wasn't, didn't seem like it would recover. But anyways, just looking at this, I've spawned like worse looking, uh, lover jars and had at least a flush so i'm going to be spotting this when i get back but having said that if you look down here we have some uh enoki esteros both of these are enoki esteros and they are doing fairly well i'd say uh no complaints there I'm just kind of being careful of the reflection here so yeah we're, we're gonna have some uh pool loving esteros as well these guys are actually um multi-spore as well. So I'm really excited to see what kind of variations I can get. Hopefully it'll be like the um, Florida grass lovers that we are just talking about. And so another multi-spore project that I have going on right now that I've spawned to bulk is uh, natties, okay? And uh, <laughs> well, you know, multi-spore, you could have really good luck. You multi-spore, you could have really bad luck. It's the luck of the draw. You could oftentimes it's somewhere in between. Um, but with natties, they, they, some genetics do actually blob up quite a bit. Not blob, but like overlay like crazy. And this does hurt the fruiting um, capabilities of them. And so uh, this right here is overlaying is like crazy, as you can see. And you know, it looks tomatoes, but in reality, as you can see, it's a bunch of rhizomorphic uh, strands basically clumping up together to form a kind of marshmallow looking thing. But it's actually a ball of rhizo, or I should say balls of rhizo. So yeah, this overlay is just getting more and more intense. Uh, I'm just neglecting it and seeing how it's going to be when I get back. Uh, it would be cool if it could get some fruits, but... You know, the, the last gnat tub that I had that I showed on this channel was the one with the sclerotia, if you guys remember, right? Or the pseudo or sort of basically stones. I don't know exactly what they are, but they're stones. And um, I know that they're not technically sclerotia, though. That's about as far as I know about that. But they feel like sclerotia, they work like sclerotia, they, you know, they're, they're basically just stones. Here's the other ones. So that's also a genetic dependent thing. I know people who've grown natties many, many times, but haven't been so lucky to get stones, but I was able to get stones that time. Unfortunately, I didn't save the culture or anything like that. Um, but uh, yeah. So yeah, that's basically the natties going on here. So. I don't think that I have much else to show you. Oh yeah, I got some, um, this is from a Melmac, Melmac pe uh, plate pin. And these guys are looking very nice, very rhizo. Uh, I actually applied a proper casing layer on top here yesterday. And it's kept very moist so that uh, basically while I'm away, it'll keep the conditions well. Look at how moist that lid is. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that as well. And this is actually a new shoe box. 
As you can see, it's not the classic Sterilite ones that I always use. And with these shoe boxes, there's pros and cons. Uh, I've been meaning to make a video on that, but uh, the width, it's actually one liter bigger than these. I think these are, um, okay, it's 5.7 liters. This is uh, six liters, I believe. So it's a little bit bigger and it's wider as well. Uh, so it's got a better fruiting surface. But the, the con of this is that this is not PP5 and this is. So um, now when I move it, it's fine. It's pretty solid, right? It, there's not much give, but, um, and that's because it's mostly colonized, right? And this is core lover mycelium, it's very strong. But like say with pool lover mycelium, the bonds aren't as strong, right? So, so if I move it, there's actually give and I've actually had a time where like I'm moving it like this, it's not good. Like, but I mean like with both hands on each side, right? It would still give on the bottom because of the weight. And with species that don't have such a tight hold, like mycelial hold with each other, uh, I've actually had a time where it actually cracked the substrate, just lifting this up. So, and it was fully colonized, but it still cracked the substrate. So um, with these guys, that's the problem. Um, and this is like, so this is basically a cheaper quality shoe box, right? But I do like the surface area, but it's a cheaper quality shoe box and the, and the plastic just isn't as good as the PP5s of the Sterilite shoe boxes. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> I guess that's all guys. So, uh, I, I feel like I, there was something else that I wanted to talk about, but well, let's call it, let's call it the video for the day. Oh, it's so annoying. I wish I knew it. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when I get back and hopefully I could film some cool nature hikes out there. No, no guarantees though, but I will try. Um, cause I am going to take a break. But, you know, <laughs> I, might, I might end up making a video there as well. So, yeah, guys, for the goodbye, let's say, let's see this. Goodbye for now, I should say. I think there are some better plus pins over here. Better pins over here, yeah. So, yeah, this is going to be an old school mycophilia video. I'm going to be releasing this directly from the phone. No editing or anything like that. Um, so, yeah. I, well, just look at look at all the pins, guys. I just can't stop looking at them. I'm sure we have all been there. In fact, I know we've all been there. Or maybe you are there right now, if, you're, if you should be so lucky. <laughs>